website. Well, Ooh. like you said, there is Fanny Hayabusa taken out. RSG Philippines, the bans out the chip. Yeah, there's still Harith on the board. The question is, will RG Philippines um, choose to give that first pick to NIP Flash? Or will they gamble for it and take it in the second phase? The question is also thrown back to NIP Flash. Will they, you know, will they be willing to pick first pick to Harith? Because we haven't really seen too many Harriths coming off the side of NIP Flash in day one. And the Zas as well. The RG Philippines bans Zas on blue side in game one. And now they're on red side. The way I see it, three heroes. Zask, Harith. Julian. Julian is still on the board. Perhaps now it might be picked up in that first phase. NIP Flash, as we all know, taking it away from Murad and also giving it to Hades is such a very it's such a viable option for their side. Yeah, I think for NIP Flash after game one, they must be feeling good about not taking out the Jushin because we know Jushins have been a focal point mm. of being banned out for, at least for our stream. <laughs> yeah. But after game one, I think they were like, you know what? We don't really have to care about Jushin. We just play our style. And speaking of the Harry, we spoke a lot about it. NIP Flash chooses to take the Harry out. Yeah. Sort of kind of a uh, flashbacks to yesterday, right? Yeah. I think Harith has been a hero that NIP Flash has sort of struggled to deal with, especially when you hit that late game, right? Critical Mass Harith is a completely different beast. RG Philippines now have to make that decision. Gorni talk about the Julian, we talk about the uh, the Zaz, which RG Philippines did eliminate NIP Flash. They're gonna default to that if you let them do it, but Roger also is on the board. Yeah, and Ro uh, that's the thing about Roger. He's so flexible. When you pick him as a first pick, he could go into the jungle, he could go into the goal lane. So it's not something that you have to be worried about. Okay, if I pick him, he has to be playing goal lane. It's the flex pick. And Husky, once again, on point for this series, gets yeah. taken out by RG Philippines. The yeah, RG Philippines are like, you know what? Let's hear what Husky is saying. <laughs> are we and connected uh, to them? <laughs> I think let's just ban that I, out. I, I think they shouldn't because they lost game one. <laughs> I, I don't want to be responsible, you know? I'm just saying. <laughs> now, the question backs. Is it going to be the Julian or the Zax? Both is open at this point in time. There is also the Ruby that's available. I'm not sure if they want to commit, but NIP Flash, Neither. they pick up the Moskov. Completely wow. different direction, right? Finally willing to let the Zaz go. That's something that I, I think we discussed a bit yesterday. If you want Zaz, red side feels slightly better yeah. for that Zaz pick. So I like it. NIP Flash making adjustments. We talk about alternatives. They are going down that route and they're committing to it. You take that away from Kuse. Now Kuse gets left with the questions. Do I want to run a gold link Zaz? Or if I don't and I give it to Aqua, how can he perform on that, right? Do I have enablers for it? Yeah, there's one more thread as well. If you let the Zas go, we saw Kurtizi play the Zas in mid. Yeah. And they actually won that game. So there's a lot of questions about this Zas. Do we still deal with the flavor of that man? And looks like RG Philippines says, nope, we're going to take it up because we're on the second pick and they're going to deny it away uh, from a possibility of facing both a Moskov and a Zask. Mm -hmm. And they picked up the outlet as well, right? A hero that was a nuisance for their side earlier on. But yeah, the small scuff, it's saying, you know what? I was just saying, hey, yo, Kusei, this is how you play a Moscow. Perhaps that's a statement <laughs> as well, if they do win. Because in that game, sure, farming, 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 but the mid game where he was, you know, he needs to be active, doesn't really show. Let's hear what heroes should they complete with for that first phase. Yeah, I think NIP Flash here, Valentina, honestly, a bit too early, but I wouldn't blame them if they go for it. Mm -hmm. You have the final Slash that's available for the Arlon. Uh, on top of it, you also deny a Minotaur being picked out. But in the midst of it all, the Julian actually gets picked up alongside with the Aurora. So once again, NIP Flash, they want the control that the Aurora brings to the table. A yeah, lot of burst damage yeah. and has anti-die properties. I was thinking to myself, NIP Flash on blue side, multiple assassins banned out. They should be taking Hades as hero. I like the Julian pick. It was kind of what got them the win against Homeboys. 11 minutes and 50 seconds. One of the quickest games we have in the Challenge Finals. In RC Philippines, they have been delivered the card that NIP Flash has anti-dive. Now they can formulate around it, right? The fact that you took away the Arlen and you can put it as a flex. At the same time, you get to deny Adamir his hero. Yeah, and once again, just sticking to the guns wow. is going wow. to be the Lancelot. Because like you said, right? On one hand, NIP Flash, um, you want to pick a Hades hero. On the other side, RG Philippines, they want to pick an Irad hero. I mean, like, no Lancelot, no party. Right? <laughs> seems like for the side of RG Philippines. And yeah, once again, we will see a rat on that Lancelot. Hopefully, hopefully, though, now there is more connection, right? Because game one, you saw, sure, backline, destroyer, but the connection wasn't 
was a little, there was a little disconnect. I think for yeah. RG Philippines now, the question begs, do you ban away the Kufra? Because you have a lens a lot. Uh, you need to shut down heroes that can deny the mobility of these flashy assassins. Yeah, so anti-dive hero banned out, right? There's a Tigreal, Minotaur could be an option. The yeah. Edith was also banned out by RG Philippines. They have some alternatives, they need to cons uh, some options to consider. But I'm thinking for NIP Flash's angle, do we want to force this Zaz to that gold lane by taking out other marksmen? Mm. Is it an option for NIP Flash? Yeah, it's definitely an option. Like we said, there are a couple of uh, heroes that they can look at to target Ban out. Um, Harif already taken out the picture, so there's not too much worry. But another hero that we talked about in day one that we saw make appearance was the Lunox gold lane. The burst that she mm. brings to the table. And the the fact that you already have a Zask in mid, as well as a Lancelot jungle, that is a scary hero to face if RG Philippines decides to go for it. Wow, Minsetar ban. What you does know, it signify though? Yeah, it, it's all about making sure that the Julian doesn't get stopped, right? Because if you pop the ultimate, the King's Landing, an issue prop backs for Hades. He wants to be very mobile. And because of the early game spike that Julian brings, especially when he hits the level 3, a Minsetar can shut him down, especially in big fights for the Turtle and the Lord. You know what I think? I'm not sure if NIP Flash is oh. thinking about this a potential Fovius pick on their side, right? We've seen Arlet, there's Lancelot, mm. plenty of dashes around. NIP Flash, they did face off against a Liquid PH's uh, Fovius yesterday, and that was a pain in the backside. The uh, Adamir Tarisla also banned out. I know, no Tarisla, no Arlet, there is still a potential to go uh, for the Ruby, but I'm just leaving the Fovius up in the air. <laughs> Yeah, both, both the Fovias as well as the Kufra look really good for NIP Flash at this point, right? you got two heroes that can kind of stop the Lancelot. Um, they do really well into the Outlord as well. You know, a lot of huge crowd control. So I think both heroes look really, really viable. And this is the advantage that you get on the first first half. You don't have to worry too much about countering the way that the second pick has. You just pick your play style and you stick to your guns. If it works, good. If not, it's on the second pick to deal with those troubles. And we spoke about Ruby. Ruby's going to get taken out. I think it's about making sure um, that the heroes on their team yeah. don't get caught in a position where the Ruby can just snap them up and get followed by the other. Mm -hmm. And imagine if Moskov was going to the team fight, but there's a Ruby on the opponent. It's gonna somehow hinders his tempo, hinders his momentum. So let's hear for the first pick on that second phase, RSG Philippines. I expect them to open a gold lane first. Yeah, and, then, very possible. and then just flex that Arlet out either if it's a Rome or if it's an um, EXP. Yeah, RG Philippines very flexible in the draft right now. No pressure, right? But then the time we're going down, I think first of all, it's about mentioning the lockdown. And just like that, it feels like both sides actually swap the draft because RG Philippines choosing to pick up the choke. Now, this could signify that they want to lock the serial hero down. Let me offer a theory here. It could mm. also be that they want to deny JPL ah. his Cho pick because his Cho was kind of a difference maker mm -hmm. in game one where, yes, Cho is not really Matter, you know, he's not one of the sexy roams that we that comes to the top of mind. But JPL's signature pick, right? You have, you got denied away from the side of NIP Flash. Is Hilda an option for the side of NIP Flash? It is a hot take, but it's not an NIP Flash hero. Yeah, I'm just I mean, gonna put it out there. It's just <laughs> not a hero that uh, JPL really plays. But it is still an option. But I don't think we'll see him coming to picture. So the Edith, Edith. right? That was banned out in game one. Comes back into the picture. And the Minotaur, so go back to basics, right? Our NIP Flash not getting too far ahead of the curve. Back to a more standardized, you know, front to back. RG Philippines lock in the Claude, which is probably the last best option without the Harry on the board. Final words, gentlemen, because this game two could be NIP Flash's first series win. Man, last. Uh... I really like NIP Flash's composition. I do hope it that pains, they can it execute. It pains Gordy to say that. <laughs> it I, pains. I do want them to see, uh, like, ex execute them uh, this composition well. I feel the excruciating pain coming out from Gordy. So he's like, I want to say RG Philippines, but the draft looks too good for <laughs> NIP Flash. A bit of a shocker, but again, breath of fresh air for NIP Flash. Don't be wrong. I, I hope. I mean, we've been proven wrong yesterday by yeah. by some of the teams. So let's see if that will be the case for this series. Gonna hand the mic off to both of you guys. NIP Flash and RG Philippines game two coming up. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our potential last game between RSG Philippines and then I NIP Flash. Will they be able to force this on towards a game three or NIP Flashes? 
sweep, sweep. Well, I, I honestly, I think for the neutral viewers out there, they definitely would love to see it go to Game 3. But for me, I personally am rooting for NIP Flash because I think <laughs> this is the much needed break that they need after day one's performance. Yeah. But coming to the game, here it is. We'll see how both teams want to play. I think um, similar to how game one was, NIP Flash will be looking to try to get the space for our to farm up. And they have the Julian, which means that level three is where Julian makes his mark and they could look for a very early first blood. Mm -hmm. And we can see already here the aggressive, what Cho can bring to you, the early starts, right? Just instantly harass Owl, instantly harass the Moskov. Nothing to commit just yet though, but yeah. I expect them both teams here just to play more, just lo let loose in our, in our second game. Yeah. A, lot of lo a lot of flashy heroes on both sides, yeah. right? On one hand, you have the Julian in Hades' hand. Uh, on the other side, you have RG Philippines uh, with the Claude, uh, with the Lancelot, and with the Cho, which we saw uh, was very potent for NIP Flash. So I think uh, it's a li little bit of different context as compared to the first game, but the story still remains the same. Now, NIP Flash, uh, they swap sides. They are the ones that are looking to control the fight in this huge team fights, especially with an Aurora and a Minotaur. While on the other side, RG Philippines, they're looking for those pickouts with the Cho and the Lancelot. Mm -hmm. Crowd control wise, I like from the side of RG, right? They got the Cho, they got the Arlet. On the other though, yeah, quite balanced crowd control here. Power, right? With the Edith, it, uh, the connection of Earth Chatter, it's going to be a tough time. But oh, it's Ooh. a solo kill, no? With the Lancelot as well, it's a 2v1 bottom side, first blood. But that will be the trade though, a kill for a turtle. Yeah, this is a very smart trade for both sides, right? On one hand, RG Philippines recognizing that, hey, the spike coming up for NIP Flash in the early stage of the game could be too much for us to handle. So let's try to make a play on the bot side. Let's try to shut this Moskov down. And the NIP Flash, obviously a little bit unfortunate for Owl, but, you know, they got the total, which was what they wanted in the first place. So I think both teams just playing to the strengths of the draft. Mm, right, and you can see here, um, it's going to be... NIP Flash though, right? Owl taking that early. Oh, top lane actually. It is. NIP Flash setting things up top, right? Nibor taken down. So that's like, a, hey, you take the gold, let me take your EXP down. Yeah, this is what we're going to be seeing from Hades throughout this entire the game, similar to how he played in day one, uh, especially with both the Julian and the Fanny. He's going to be looking to pick off those side lanes and give the space uh, for his teammates to actually push their targets down. Now the question backs, will RG Philippines be able to handle this Julian? Because their power spikes are slowly ramping up. If you look at the way that they want to set the team up, they need time on both the Claude as well as the Zaz to farm up. So I think it's uh, it's a bit of a, a question that RG Philippines probably already had in the drafting phases. Right. Now, but coming into this, can they stop this Julian? Because Hades, he's an exceptional player, especially when he's on those assassins. Mm, but with that in mind, right, I expect that I Flash to be more invasive, which I have not really seen. Sure, they got a guild top lane, but what's next? I think he needs to be more active considering, yeah, you're right, Zask. Claude, they don't really have power per se in that early game. So let's exploit that, but we have not seen just yet from yeah. NIP Flash. And that could also be due to one of the reasons. Oh, before I hold that thought, Kusei gets hit by Spear of Misery. Oh, an off camera kill in the mid. Lights gets taken down, light gets taken down. And NIP Flash, it seems like they want to shift their gear to a more aggressive style. Now Lancelot in trouble for Rosen and JPL will secure that kill. And with that, take a look at the domino effect, man. Turtle is up, will be taken care of in NIP Flash, just like game one, showing a strong start and they want more more here in the purple buff. Light and Nibor trying to provide cover, trying to zone out members, but NIP Flash, they're just flooding the purple buff and they will take care of that purple buff like it's no problem. Yeah, just like game one, I feel like RNG Philippines, um, they feel so uncomfortable when they're playing on the back foot. This is not what they're used to. They want to be in control. Mm -hmm. They want to have that momentum in mm -hmm. team fights. And NIP Flash now playing these very aggressive jungles like like the Fannies, like the Julians. And you know, I think it feels like RNG Philippines are struggling to face against that kind of aggressive playstyle. Mm -hmm. They need to definitely solve their problem here. What, right, what's next? But then again, you mentioned this earlier, and Zask, Claude, mid-game. So maybe they're just, you know what? Waiting yeah. it out. Yeah, take, take the early game enemy flash. We'll punch a throw. 
in the later stage. Now, though, in the bottom side, it's a 2v4. Nibor, oh my god, a little too ambitious, and he gets taken down. Yeah, that's the risk, you know, when you're playing against a Moskov. On one moment, he's on the side of the map. Next thing you know, Spear of Misery comes in, stuns you right against the wall, and that is a pickoff. But NIP Flash now building on that momentum that Hades has already clutched for them, right? The Julian 3 0 and 1 at this point, you know, completely involved in all these team kills, and NIP. Flash are looking to bully RG Philippines. They want to end this game early uh, before the uh, RG Philippines even have time to build up on Crusade. Mm -hmm, I agree. And let's see here the approach, right? NMB Flash. I expected for them to be more active and yeah, finally, right? More setups, more ganking potential. And top lane though, Adam here taking some heat against the Rad, but it's uh, no problem. Yeah. 15 seconds towards the next turtle. That's going to be a very important turtle. But oh, the bottom side is actually going to be the first structure taken down under NMB Flash's belt. I love this coming up from uh, NIP Flash. You know you have the Aurora as well as the Minotaur. You can just freeze the tower and that sets up for the Minions Fury right underneath RG Philippines. Oh, Flicker, Jet Kundo, and as well as Wave Dragon, Hades though secures the kill on that turtle. Final Slash on towards three. Owl now in trouble, one on one against Nibor, and Owl will find success. You're right now quite in, in the middle of it all, right? Trying to find some kill, but oh, the timing on the knockup and Rad survives, but almost there, he falls. That would have been a highlight play from Hades, right? Uh, I expect the Torn Rose comes up, yeah. Enhance Chains, knocks yeah. you out and get the kill, but it was not meant to be. But hey, all things considered, NIP Flash, they should be happy about that. They got about a couple happy. of kills uh, on the side of their own team, they put the pressure, they got the turtle as well, and I think RG Philippines, it feels like desperation like you mentioned. It feels like they're trying to force these teamfights because they're playing from behind. And this is not what they want to do. They want to be in control, and you see, it starts off with a really good knockout back yeah. up with JPL, but then he's in the prime position to get the minion free. And this leaves RG Philippines with no choice. They're committed to teamfight, and look at that. A point black spear of misery into the face uh, of Nibor, which is not what you want when you're against a Moscow. Yeah, definitely, man. And RG Philippines, I feel like the targeting short you you can target the enabler, but not in that situation, right? Sure, you want to take down JPL, but there's backup, right? And sure, light light's a very flashy way of dragon, but then again, is it the lots. right target? It's it the yeah. right target in that situation. I feel like that's not wise. It's unwise. RC Philippines, they need to cover and find compensation for that three thousand gold item check, though. Yeah, uh, it's, it's, it's all about control. And you really see um, the glowing one being completed on this Aurora. It's all for making sure uh, that the Arlot doesn't get that lifesteal. It's a really, really good item. It's a cheap item to pick up. But on the back line, RG Philippines just struggling to even defend at the top lane despite having three members up top. And this is why we talked about it. The spike, the spike that NIP Flash have, and they are, are making use of it. They're booing RG Philippines out of these objectives. Very similar to our first game, right? Top and bottom mid uh, tier one taken out. And RG Philippines, no real answer just yet. Sure, item, they're probably waiting on items on Aqua and the Crusade, but let's see here. The first Lord is up already. Oh, flicker item replay here from towards Nibor, but the follow-up damage light with the conceal. Looking for the right target this time, immunity, but the damage will not come through just yet. Lord still poked around, final slash on towards one. The knockup was huge, Adamir not quite low, but the damage by Hades is huge, and he gets the Lord. Adamir finds one in the backside, RSG Philippines will not be able to find a recovery. Yeah, Irad tried to make a play there, but there wasn't any follow-up. No. They already expended too much trying to take down both JPL and Adamir. And you're up against Edith and Minotaur, who has a ton of sustain, yeah. right? And I think this is a problem there for RNG Philippines. I felt like they didn't need to gamble that. They could have just gave away first slot. That would have given more time for Crusade to farm up. Uh, and on the other side, you know, NIP Flash just more than happy yeah. to take these team fights because they're ahead, right? Yes, RNG Philippines look really good. Um, in terms of the draft, but they're so low on economy. They are three k more than 3k. Right? This 3k advantage is from the Lord. So even before that, they're already way ahead. And I think RG Flamies are just desperate. They're looking for a team fight, hoping that they can win some sort of 50-50. I mean, it's very hard for a light here to find a target, right? Owl has that um, blink and also the Purify. Hades, Julian can't escape. 
maybe just uh Curtsy, maybe it's just the aura, but then again, it's very hard because there are covers now. Let's see here. Arad trying to clear the mid. Lord will be taken care of, no problem. But yeah, and I'd be Flash, very similar to game one, showing very comfortable lead, building those foundations right in the first th th 10 minutes. It feels so different. This is an entirely different NIP Flash. Yes, we saw signs of individual brilliance in day one, but this time around, they look like they've bonded together. Right. It feels like the chemistry is there. They know how to actually come into these fights. No mistakes so far. And RG Philippines, like you said, you know, it, it, it feels like they're forcing something out, especially with this Chody. He has no real target to go for. Mm -hmm. And seems like they want to dive this one. Base turret in the bottom side, done. RG Philippines will not be able to defend that one, and MVP Flash will be more than happy to, hey, you know what? Yeah, let's just back off. RG Philippines now 8K behind NIP Flash. Oof. And on top of it all, that the next lot is going to be an enhanced lot, so they have less than a minute uh, to sort of force a fight if they want to. If they give this up, I wouldn't be doubtful if all, all both the remaining inhibitor towers go down, and this is not what you want. I think this draft coming out for RG Philippines, you have to play on the front foot. Playing from behind, there's just too much to deal with. You have the Julian that you have to be afraid of. There's the Moskov. You know, JPL can set up with the Minion Fury. On top of it all, you still have Adamir to to kind of handle with this Idif. So I think for RG Philippines. Um, if NIP Flash, I'm, I'm gonna put myself in the hot soup here. If NIP Flash doesn't make a mistake, I really think that this should be a clean 2 0. Mm -hmm. I, I, I believe so, right? And up to this point, NIP Flash, sure, minor mistakes, sure, there are some, but major ones, I don't think they have ma made any. So just keep it that way, keep it controlled, pick your battles, and RG Philippines on the other side, wait for them to make mistake or maybe force them to make a mistake by how by clearing top side i feel like akuse here with the split push potentially it will it will add up right and i now they want to fight 5v5 and enhance lord but nli flash they're ready so is this one I, I felt like NIP Flash kind of hesitated there to start. They want to find yeah. out uh, where Kusei is. They want to troll. And speak of troll! Oh, the knockup is huge. Three members. But Hades is there to find the execute. In the backside, Adam will try to find Kusei and finds it with Owl. Rad in a snowman's land of 1v4. Can he defend? He wants to clear the mid. Will back away, though. He is at a 45% health HP. But NIP Flash. Hey, Diablo, you can rest today. We got this. And NIP Flash finds a game and it's a clean sweep against RSG Philippines. Well played by NIP Flash there. We spoke about being hesitant because they were waiting and they waited. And RSG Philippines took the bait. They went into the team fight. They lost four members. It was all down to Lancelot. And what can you do no. when all five members side of NIP Flash are still alive?